hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are all doing well i hope you guys are having a lovely morning or afternoon or evening whenever you are watching this particular video so if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're subscribed and you're back again it is very good to have you again before i continue your girl has a little gift for you guys so there's a new mobile app that says money back home to ghana so i'm going to be talking about them shortly so make sure you stay tuned so from this title we are talking about money 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 and i just wanted to start off by saying happy new year i don't know if i can say that because i know it's quite late but i feel like i have to say that because i've been away for so long and it'll be wrong for me to just come back here and start talking to you guys as if i've not been away so i do apologize for that but i'm back and i'm better so we are talking about money in this video and we are talking about was it worth going back to ghana last year december and Quite frankly, is it still worth going to Ghana now? So, as you guys know, going to Ghana alone is so, so, so expensive. Especially the time that you guys want to go, which is what, in December, the peak time, Christmas. The cheapest ticket you're going to get in December is from, let's say, starting from £700, if you're lucky, to at least a grand per person. That's how much the tickets are. And you can say, oh yeah, I'll plan in advance. I can plan six months in advance to get your ticket. No. Because if you want to fly direct, which is BA, that f only flies direct, they do not start their sales into later on in the year. So you will not be able to, um, to be able to do that. I have tried that and it doesn't work. So you just have to wait closer to the year and just be saving money. And when it comes to it, you just buy the ticket. <laughs> And yeah, it's just so expensive and that's just your ticket, ticket alone and not including um, your spending money as well. Obviously, you're going to Ghana to enjoy life, to chop life and Ghana is not cheap. Ghana is very expensive. And also, if you're African, you know the deal. We don't come home empty handed. It just doesn't make sense. You have family that you're going to see. You have friends. You can't come empty handed. That's another money as well. And not forgetting, you also need to have a visa. So if you do not have a Ghana passport... You do need to get a visa and they do range in different from different prices um i have also done the yearly one which is 150 pounds i don't know if it's changed you go and ghana often and you don't have a ghana passport consider having uh what do you call it uh, consider having the yearly visa it makes more sense so you don't have to be paying for the visa every three months every time you want to go because sometimes you need to go ghana in emergency and now i just wanted to talk about in fact i want us to just stay around this area with the whole covid this whole covid hey when is it gonna go it's literally just destroying us taking our plans away and just restricting us from doing things that we want to do hmm. you're looking at me i'm also looking at you <laughs> you know why because i have something special for you today's video is kindly sponsored by lemonade finance send money back home to ghana simple don't waste time don't waste energy so if you're in canada and you want to send money back home to ghana it's simple and it's easy and it's sweet and if you're in the uk it's the same thing sending money back home to ghana through their bank account or through mobile money that's it and it's free did i forget to mention it's free as in f r e e e e e e free because there is no extra cost no hidden charges i'll send it goes straight to the account and voila you got the money there it's so easy to use and it's easy to sign up so make sure you sign up now so that you can send money back home to your friends and loved ones and also the rate the exchange rate Ooh, i'm just gonna leave it there so if you want to find out more about it if you use my link you get 10 percent cash back from when you transfer money for your first purchase over 100 pounds and i mean why not so use my link and let's enjoy the video so i don't understand why they're still charging 150 dollars to do a covid test why there are so many Ghanaians. not every Ghanaian has a Ghanaian passport so it, you are making us pay for more to come back home why why is it costing so much and if you do have a Ghanaian passport it is 50 dollars but still that doesn't mean anything because 
in the UK, I don't know for any other countries, in the UK, they've put the prices down for paying for COVID tests. They used to range from £100 and upwards to like £300. Now it's like, what, from £70 to £150, £200 maybe if you're lucky. Um, so if they can put the prices down here in the UK, why can't they put the prices down in Ghana? You know, it makes you start to question why they're not putting the prices down, you know? Don't they want us to come back home or what? If they don't want us to come back home, then they shouldn't make December sweet because December is sweet. So that's why we want to come home. So they need to sort that out. Hi. All right. Thanks. So you're still having to pay for the $150, unfortunately. I don't know why. So you have to consider that. And remember all the costs that I mentioned, which is your ticket, your visa, your COVID test in the UK, and then the COVID test you've got to do when you get to Ghana. You're spending money, your money for family. Charlie, <laughs> and this is just per person. Let's say you're probably talking about over two grand just to go Ghana in December. And how long do you normally go for? Two, three weeks? You have that kind of money to splash out in two, three weeks, two grand? Then you've got money. So think, think about it. Think about it. Oh, and also... If you don't have a house or you don't have a family house in Ghana, you're also paying for accommodation. Everybody is expensive. Bloody hell, man. Oh, and the new thing that they brought out that it's a bit unfair. I do understand, but at the same time, it's a bit unfair. You need to be double jabbed. Hey, this one, dear. This one, dear. If I was traveling Ghana last year and you told me last minute that before I can come to the country, I need to be double jabbed. Like, okay, you want to bring that law, right? Fine. Bring that law way in advance so that we can prepare ourselves. People have different circumstances that they're not even able to get the first jab, let, let alone the second jab, right? You don't know people's circumstances. Some people had to probably go to Ghana in an emergency and now you're talking about being jabbed. Talking of all the COVID tests they've done, which will obviously come at negative because if it was positive, they won't even be able to get on the plane. I, I I just think it's madness and I know when it came out there was like a whole big whole big conversation on it on Twitter people were going back and forth saying this was wrong that they shouldn't have done this that if they were going to do it they should have let people know where in advance kind of thing so yeah like it's too expensive man it's too expensive and I don't know if they've changed the rules um now going into 2022 I haven't heard of any rules or any like changes or anything like that so Again, let's just do the maths. Your travel ticket, your COVID test, your visa, um, your spending money, money for family, your COVID test, and then you got to pay for your COVID test coming back again. Ghana is too expensive. What is that? Ah, we want to come to Ghana and enjoy small. So what, do we have to come, like, what, March? Like, April or September? Do we have to come in in cheap times because you know oh another cheap time to go to ghana is november the tickets are stinking cheap you can get a ticket for like 300 pound if you want and in april you can get a nice ticket for 400 pound but those are trans those are transits those are not direct flights i don't know how much it will be for ba if you're in the uk because here in the uk we have a direct flight to go to ghana but if you're going to do transit flights you can get them for cheaper um but yeah going to ghana is so expensive so guys let me know your thoughts like have i over exaggerated do you feel like the whole ghana now system is just too expensive and it's a bit ridiculous something and something needs to be done about it you know and th the thing is we have family back home you know we have other things we have commitments back home so it's hard for us to say we're not going to go back home because home is home do you know what i mean we're making the process easy already the process to go to to travel in general now it's not it's not smooth so i don't know guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed and god bless mm -hmm.